but not quite as exciting as this next area that I'm going to take you guys to. We've had some super, super exciting developments happen in the past few days. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome to my very first Fright Nights construction update of the year. Oh yes, this is the latest I've ever started these updates, but that does mean that I have so much to show you guys and loads and loads of interesting things to discuss with you all in today's video. Now, if you've already been watching my Fright Nights content this year, you'll know that I've been doing live streams every time a new official trailer has dropped over on Fort Park's channels. And yeah, I've already made a video talking about how I'm going to be covering Fright Nights this year. So if you haven't seen that video that I put out and some of the tweets that I put out over on Twitter, I'm gonna be super, super clear here. This year, I'm not hiding the fact that I am in fact involved with the event, which I think is literally the coolest thing ever. I'm so, so grateful for it. Which does mean that I'm unfortunately not really able to speculate as much as I used to be able to in these videos. So all of the speculation and kind of theories and Easter eggs and stuff that I talk about in today's video will be coming directly from the kind of Fright Nights community and what people are saying on social media and in the forums and stuff. And then yeah, the other side of these construction vlogs, the construction, anything that I show you today is just going to be like how it used to be like if we see any cool mazes being um, put up today or any other Fright Nights construction then I'll of course show you guys like normal but yeah I'm very excited we started off these updates again so let's head into the park and I'll show you everything there is to see come on So I've headed down into the carnival area here at the park, which is obviously the brand new event for this year that has taken over like the cantina and the dockyard areas of the park. Now, a really, really cool thing with this year's carnival is they have implemented like different levels of experience for guests. And the highest level of this experience means you get loads and loads of really, really interesting details about not only the carnival, but also future things happening at the park. Like literally, carnival is a hub for cool easter eggs and little side quests and storylines and the place to go to get a lot of these kind of cool easter eggs is actually the fortune teller booth just over here now if you head into this booth you can often get your fortune told by the fortune teller and they actually give you a number of fortune cards now i have collected some of the most interesting cards to show you guys right now so as you can see we've got three cards which when i had my fortune told i was told that these are my future so first up we've got a bright spark card which as you can see seems to be like a little bag of popcorn so to me you know it very much looks and sounds like a little trailer's hint now next up we've got another card in the form of the key which is obviously the big theme for this year's Fright Nights with it being like the 21st year of Fright Nights and often on your 21st birthday you get a key. So there you go, there's the key card, very cool. Now before I get onto this final red card, there's another very interesting card which I won't touch on too much right now but it is a very cool card which has the number 236 and a big old balloon. Now to the untrained eye, it might look like a pretty uninteresting card, but Project Exodus guys is due to be 236 feet tall. So yeah, that's a really, really cool little Easter egg for Project Exodus there. But as I said, this is a Friday Nights update, not a Project Exodus one, so I won't talk too much about that. Um, but yeah, the final red card to discuss is this. It's a very interesting one of this eye symbol which keeps on popping up. It's been in the teaser videos and uh, yeah, it first made its appearance here in the carnival. Now I've seen loads and loads of speculation as to what this symbol could mean. As of yet, the trailers don't give too much away. But yeah, mark my word, this is going to be an important symbol this Fright Nights. Let me know all of your speculation as to what this could mean in the comments below. But yeah, as I said, it's really cool to see all of these kind of Easter eggs implemented into the carnival. It's definitely something 
that I'd like to see more in kind of future events that the park do. Who knows? We might even get some cool Easter eggs during Pride Nights of future events and rides. Who knows? So as I make my way down the path that runs next to Saw Alive, obviously at last year's Fright Nights, we had the brand new scare zone, the Crows of Morkin Meadow here. Now, although this year, no scare zones have yet to be confirmed, we do know from the website that scare zones will be at this year's event. So what are you guys saying? Would you like to see the Crows of Morkin Meadow return? I mean, last year it was an award-winning scare zone for the park. So it clearly went down very well. And yeah, it was a fantastic little scare zone. I love the lighting and everything in this area. Um, I mean, currently, the whole Sora Live queue is currently here. So imagine if they got rid of that. I mean, ignoring Fright Nights for a second, that would be some cool flat ride space, wouldn't it? But yeah, I mean, currently, like half of this bath is being taken up by this massive old Sora Live queue, which obviously is no longer being used because unfortunately, Sora Live is no longer in operation. But yeah, think of the space if they were to get rid of that, it would be very cool. Um, but yeah, at this point, the Crows of Walking Meadow hasn't even been confirmed. So it's a little bit early to start talking about what they could do to change this uh, zone if it does return. But yeah, it was certainly a very cool zone. Now, over here in Old Town, obviously, if you guys have been watching my project Exodus construction updates, you'll know that the area where Creek Freak Massacre is located is currently been boarded off by this massive white construction fence, which has been put up, hopefully, for the construction of Project Exodus. However, according to the plans that Fort Park submitted to the council um, in regards to Project Exodus, they did add a little section in which they said that they would build a new entrance to the Fright Nights Maze, Creek Freak Massacre, just in this kind of corner where you used to enter Platform 15 in the past few years. So once again, Creek Freak Massacre hasn't officially been confirmed to be at this year's Fright Nights by the park. However, looking at the Project Exodus kind of construction documents and everything, it does seem like at least a few months ago, they were looking to try and get this maze open for this year's Fright Nights because when Project Exodus gets built, Freak Freak Massacre is going to be absolutely flattened. It's going to be demolished. This very well could be the last year of Freak Freak Massacre, which is quite sad. But I would much rather have a 236 foot roller coaster, to be honest. But an interesting thing with Creek Freak is people have actually spotted the big kind of moving entrance sign just outside of the mill. I don't know if I can get a good angle for you guys from here, but it's there outside of the mill. Now, just behind me, we have trailers breakout at Bozo's, which is currently open during the park's carnival event. However, this is currently the only maze which is confirmed by the park to be open at this year's Friday Nights event, which is very exciting. Obviously, it was a brand new maze last year, and yeah, it will in fact be open for this year's Fright Nights event. Now, the park have currently confirmed that there are three mazes and one scare experience along with the scare zones and shows at this year's event. So obviously with trailers and potentially Creek Free Massacre, that leaves one other maze. Now, another interesting point that's caused a lot of speculation recently is that this little area next to trailers, known as the compound just behind these gates here, has had a recent clearing out, which means it is now quite a big open space now in the past there has actually been a few mazes that used up that space such as Dead Creek Woods and if not using that space for maze then they definitely used it for queue lines like with Blair Witch back in the day and also a Roots of Evil. Now with this space once again being cleared just a few weeks ago a lot of people were starting to speculate if maybe this could be the space where either the new maze or even experience could go. Now another interesting spot to talk about in terms of speculation for this year's Fright Nights, it's over here at Containment. Now the main reason for this being a big bit of speculation is earlier at the start of this season, we had some blue markings put down on the floor just over here. And obviously during the close season, the old water ride that used to be here, wet, 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 was removed, which has once again left a nice bit of space next to Containment. 
Now, with Four Park confirming on their website that there will be free mazes, scare zones, and an experience, a lot of people are speculating if this space could be used for either the new experience or maybe even the new maze. So yeah, it's a very exciting one. I've obviously got a lot of connection to this building. So this is where we actually filmed last year's Fright Nights teasers. So yeah, I've got a lot of love for this place. But yeah, people are definitely keeping a very close eye on this area of the park for this year's Fright Nights. And yeah, it's a very exciting place, but not quite as exciting as this next area that I'm gonna take you guys to. We've had some super, super exciting developments happen in the past few days. So it's almost impossible to see unless you're up high. So I'm gonna to have to describe it as best I can, guys. But essentially, on the little service island next to the swarm, essentially, we have had a number of black containers appear. Now, in the past, this space has very well been used for Fright Nights attractions, most recent being the Walking Dead Sanctum, which appeared a good few years back. And yeah, you used to go through this gate down onto the island for that little scare maze. However, yeah, as I mentioned, you can just about see through the trees, there's like a little bit of black darkness. Those are some brand new containers. Now, as of yet, nothing has been confirmed by the park. So as I always say, it could just be some drainage, some storage containers. However, it certainly is very interesting and it's getting a lot of people online very, very excited. A lot of people are speculating that this could in fact be a brand new maze, which is very exciting because container mazes have famously been so, so cool at Fright Nights in the past, like with My Bloody Valentine, uh, Experiment 10, like they've been some of the best mazes of four and we haven't had a container maze at Fright Nights for so long. So yeah, if people's speculation is right, Oh boy, it's going to be exciting. Now, my best bit of advice would be to ride either the Swarm or Depth Charge if you want a nice view of that little island. So I've now left the park, but I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of information in regards to the character in this year's teasers. Now, obviously, it's now been confirmed that that character's name is the Locksmith. Now, the locksmith is actually a minion of Fear, who was featured in last year's Fright Nights teasers. Now, the official kind of lore is that Fear is kind of like the ultimate evil overlooking all of Fright Nights. And then the locksmith is just one of Fear's little workers um, doing some of his evil work for him. I won't say too much more, but yeah, that is what Fort Park have confirmed in like the comments to some of their um, videos. Fort Park are actually very good at replying to all of like the fan speculation and comments and questions. So yeah, always feel free to kind of speculate and comment on these official teasers and who knows, Fort Park might reply to you with a very cool answer. But yeah, that brings me to the end of the very first Fright Nights update of the year. I'm so excited to be back filming them for you all and I hope you're all very, very excited for this year's Fright Nights event. I know I certainly am. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for even more Fright Nights videos. And otherwise, my name is Jack Silkstone. Goodbye.